गुड मॉर्निंग आई मेहुल पुजारा फैकल्टी इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एट बी एच गाड़ी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस अबाउट सब्जेक्ट हीट ट्रांसफर द सब्जेक्ट इज ऑफर्ड इन फिफ्थ सेमेस्टर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एट गुजरात टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट हीट ट्रांसफर इन हीटेड कॉपर रोड ऑब्जेक्टिव वॉट आर द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द कॉर्स Today we will discuss about different modes of heat transfer, basics of heat conduction, and one-dimensional heat conduction. What are the key points are going to be covered? The difference between conduction, convection, and radiation. Mechanism of heat transfer by conduction. Last, Fourier law of heat conduction. Modes of heat transfer. There are three different modes of heat transfer. conduction convection and radiation what is conduction it is mode of heat transfer from higher energetic particles to adjacent lower energetic particles due to molecular interaction if you look at this figure the rod is heated if it is heated at one end we will observe that the energy transferred in form of heat it will take place to another end this is the example of heat transferred by conduction convection what is convection it is another mode of heat transfer from solid to fluids either gases or liquid if you look at this figure again the hand above the fire feel warm because the air which is near to this fire it gets heated due to the buoyancy effect density difference it will move upward direction the hot particles having less density it will try to move in upward direction the cold particles having higher density it will try to move in downward direction and a convective current is generated this is the example of convection radiation it is energy emitted from the matter in form of electromagnetic waves so here also we have seen the example of radiation the energy is transmitted in in form of electromagnetic waves another very good example very well known example of radiation energy transfer we transfer by means of radiation that is energy we are receiving from the earth that is the beautiful example of radiation basics of heat conduction as i said conduction is the transfer of energy from more energetic particles of substance to adjacent less energetic particles as a result of interaction between the particles conduction can take place in solid liquids and gases in gases and liquids conduction is due to collision and diffusion of the molecules during their random motion in solids conduction is due to the combination of vibration of the molecules and energy transferred by free electrons one dimensional heat conduction so the rate of heat conduction the rate of heat conduction if we take one dimensional example one dimensional plane wall one side is maintained at temperature t1 another side is maintained at temperature t2 the area exposed to this heat transfer because of this temperature difference this uh, delta t t1 minus t2 area which is normal to the detection of heat transfer so the rate of heat conduction we can say that it is directly proportional to area which is normal to the detection of heat transfer and temperature difference delta t it is inversely proportional to the thickness of the wall if larger the thickness lower the rate of heat conduction so we can write that the rate of heat transfer by means of conduction that is k k is constant of proportionality it is also known as thermal conductivity of the material larger the value of thermal conductivity larger the rate of heat conduction so the rate of heat conduction is equal to we can write k 
thermal conductivity of the material a area normal to the direction of heat transfer t1 minus t2 temperature difference upon delta x thickness of the material in differential form we can write 2 dot is equal to minus k a dt by dx which is called Fourier's law of heat conduction we utilize this for this law of heat conduction to identify any one unknown parameter if rest of the parameters are known to us. Let us take one example. A copper rod of thermal conductivity 385 volt per meter Kelvin and diameter of 20 mm has one end at 100 degrees centigrade. The amount of energy transfer in form of heat is 2000 volt per meter square heat flux is given to us. Calculate the temperature of another end if the length of the rod is 1 meter. So let us start for the solution of the problem. What is known to us? Thermal conductivity of the material, temperature at one end, heat flux and length of the row. These are the parameters which are known to us. What we have to find out? Temperature at another end. Let us draw the schematic. A road whose thermal conductivity 385 watt per meter Kelvin given to us temperature at one end 100 degree centigrade heat flux 2000 watt per meter square length of the rod 1 meter and it is asked to find out temperature T2 at another end so according to Fourier's law we will write down Q Q dash that is heat flux. Heat flux is given to us 2000 volt per meter square heat flux that is rate of heat transfer per unit here. So K thermal conductivity of the material T1 temperature at one end T2 temperature at another end L that is length of the road. So heat flux 2000 volt per meter square given to us 100 degree centigrade temperature at one end length 1 meter and thermal conductivity 385. If you put all this parameter in this relation we will get temperature at another end is 94.80 degrees centigrade. The figures and the relations that is taken from tutorovista.com and reference book heat and mass transferred by Unisys. Thank you.